Hello, this is Pam Ann and this is mirror.co.uk, one of my favourite newspapers. I have an onboarding first class. Okay, so Pam, for people that haven't had the pleasure of coming across you before, oh. can you explain the nature of your job, please? Well, I am an international air hostess to the stars and beyond, and uh, I run a tight, a tight ship, a, an airline. We run out of T5s and uh, fly all around the world. I have celebrity guests on board, and uh, basically, I'm probably number one in the world, air hostess. And I hear that uh, Madonna is a big fan of yours, one of your celebrity guests. Yes, Madonna. Well, Madonna, with the crisis she's in at the moment, she keeps calling me. I can't answer the phone right now. I just know it comes up, speed dial Madonna. I'm like, I can't, I can't speak to her about it right now. But then Guy Ritchie's calling me on the other line. I'm like, I'm torn in the middle of them because I did bring the baby from Malawi over on one of my aircraft. Really? I have a few of them. She's got more than three. <laughs> she has. How many does she have? There's about 20 I've brought over. So she's, yeah, she's competition brand Angelina Jolie then? She, yeah, yeah, she hasn't just used... She's bringing them out once a year. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I bring them in the overhead lockers. <laughs> just get them on and in they go, shh, none the wiser. And uh, Danny Minogue as well, the X Factor judge. She's a, she's a big fan of yours. Go Team Minogue, Team Minogue. Yes, Danny is a big fan. I'm a big fan of hers actually, I must say. Um, Danny and I go way back. We both grew up in Melbourne, Australia. There's something in the water, isn't there? <laughs> a bit of camp. Um, so Danny and I, yeah, we grew up as kids together. Yeah, she got me out of a time of court shoplifting and Danny bailed me out. And uh, now I'm, you know, I'd like to kick that Cheryl Cole off there and start judging with Danny. I think a couple of chicks, a little bit of camaraderie wouldn't go astray, would it? It wouldn't, indeed. What do, what do you think of Cheryl? She needs to eat. <laughs> she needs to eat something. Cheryl, eat. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure she'll take your advice. There's always you? someone younger and hungrier coming down the stairs behind <laughs> you, isn't there? That's very And true. one day, Cheryl, there's going to be someone younger than you. Yes, I was going to ask you about the My High Club. Do you, do you see much of that? Um, look, I do. I, did fa I founded it in 1975 with Bob Marley. <laughs> Push me up against her. Thing like that in the toilet, very com the dreadlocks were getting stuck in the doors, mm. and he said to me, "No woman, no crime." <laughs> he did. So that was back in the day. But I see people sneak off after a couple of Chardonnays, and then they're in that toilet. And my well, Bob's your uncle. I let them go. I hear that you provided the in-flight entertainment for David Furnish's 40th birthday. Another one on speed dial. They're like, "Pam, we need you. We need you." You know. Every day, Elton John is uh, is calling me. He's because I have an upper deck lounge where I have a pianist and we entertain the celebrities. And he's like, Pam, please can I come and play Rocket Man for the hundred millionth time again up in your lounge? I'm like, look, one one thing at a time. So I've done a couple of flights for Elton John on their private jets. How were how were the parties on board with Elton? What did you, what kind of things did they get up to? Well, look, you know, I guess. Posh Spice, Victoria Beckham, I was concerned. I really, I double strapped her in. I've got, she's so thin. I was really scared we we're going to lose her through the crack in the door. So I strapped her in. She's a nervous flyer, actually. And Damien Hurst, it was, he was on board the artist um, back in the heyday when he loved a drink. And he was opening the back door. Gale force winds. I was taking control. I mean, what went through my head if this plane goes down? What a great lineup! Imagine the cover of the mirror, <laughs> and I'd be up there with them all. Elton, David, the socialites like Cornelia Guest, Lulu, Victoria Beckham, Pam Ann, all died. And Cher's another one, isn't she, that you've, uh, you've is. worked with a lot before? Yeah, I charted her around. I did a tour with her through the UK, and um, yeah, many times with Pam. Can you turn back time? <laughs> I said, Well, if we fly to Australia. I can probably knock off 10 hours, mm. but then when you come back, you're going to gain it again. So there's not a lot <laughs> I can do. I can put you out on the wing and you can have a nice, you know, in-flight facelift. Mm. That always works. Until then, what people can catch you at the Hammersmith Apollo. Is that right, before the end of the year? Yes. You thought T5 was a big thing this <laughs> year. No, 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 no. The biggest launch this year, and our baggage carousel will work, is Hammersmith Layover T5. So... It's Hammersmith, it's going to be an experience. I've got some of my One World Alliance partners will be joining me. 
I've got Claudia from Ryanair. <laughs> She'll be joining us. And I've got Valerie from Dallas, Fort Worth. She's 105 and still flying today. Got Alzheimer's. You get about 25 salads with her. <laughs> and um, then we've got Mona from British Airways. You know, she can chew... She can... British Airways, they can chew an apple through a picket fence. <laughs> so big their bite is. You stick your, your fist up and they can still smile. Isn't that amazing? <laughs>